Hello, and welcome to the pit stop. My name is Alaska, what's yours? I'm so excited because today we have a very special guest. This is the one and only, the incomparable Miss Delta Work is here. Hello. Hi. Hi. We were in perfect harmony. We were. I love that. So you're loving All Stars? I love All Stars. I love All Stars. Yeah. I mean, I love Drag Race in general, mm -hmm. but I love All Stars because we kind of already know the people that are going into it, and a lot of us have worked with one another. Yeah. So it's interesting seeing them going back to where it started, yeah. and you would think that you know what to expect because you've been there before. You would think. You would think, but mm -hmm. that's not always the case. Right. Let's talk about the elimination from last week. Kennedy sent home milk. And she's sitting there and she's explaining her reasoning. Milk basically told her, your drag does nothing for me. The elimination was just on a personal level. Yeah. Just on a personal level. Maybe Kennedy from her standpoint is like, it's gonna bug me so much and annoy me and get me out of my game mm -hmm. that like, if I have the chance to like make you go away, then okay. I think she was shooting from the that like, makes, that I sense. just wanted you to go away. That seems like the person that you'd want to keep in the competition then, because if you don't see their drag, that's one less bitch for you to worry about. Yeah. How do you think this is affecting Chi Chi going throughout this? She's been in the bottom three times. You know, there's an old adage, like the first time shame on you, second time shame on me, third time, what the f <laughs> Third time, it's like kick rocks. Like you, you have to go. Right. You have to go like that. I yeah. mean, that happened to me on on my season, yeah. and it was only fair. Let's talk about Note Gate. Thorgy wrote Trixie a note. Trixie put it up. Shangela read it, and the note says, F "This bitch, Shangela." And Trixie put the note up, and Shangela saw this as a direct affront. And I could see why she would be bothered by that, but. I don't invite myself into other people's stations. So <laughs> I try to stay out of people's stations at a dressing room. She's the Nancy Drew. She's the Nancy Drew. She is the Nancy Drew. Drew. She was sleuthing it out. She is the Nancy Drew. Yeah. yeah, I mean, you know, that's a hard thing to read. Nobody wants to read something negative about themselves. But the reality is that Shanchal is still there and Thorgy's not. Yeah, exactly. So who gives a rat's ass what Thorgy thought about Shangela? Yeah. Let's move on to talking about this maxi challenge, the snatch game. Um, what did you think? Well, my standouts for sure were uh, Ben's Paul Lind. So good. What Ben does and what makes Ben, I think, a complete package mm -hmm. is his ability to incorporate characters that make sense for him. Yes. And even though it's a huge risk to do a male character and to do a character that not a lot of people in certain age ranges might not know. Yeah. It still fits in the sort of Ben de la Creme brand. Totally. And it totally fits in the concept of Snatch Game, which is the sort of 60s, 70s game shows. And Paul Lind was that. Yeah. And I really, 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 really loved um, Aja's uh, Crystal Labasia. Oh. But she we, looked just like her. She looked just like her. Yeah. And I feel like uh, the content that she used really did land appropriately. I felt like yeah. it was funny. I feel like I have to give an honorable mention. I thought BB's Grace Jones was really funny. <laughs> right. It's totally not what you expect from BB. No. You don't expect that at all. She's really funny. Yeah. Let's talk about some of the bottoms. Oh, the Maya Angelou. Oh, bless. 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 It's that case of like when you choose a character just because like you th you know what they look like right. and you want to do the look, right. but it was she just she didn't know a lot about Maya Angelou. She didn't know her name. Yeah, and you know, it's not about the look. Yeah, you're wearing the outfit, but what else is funny? Because right. you can't interact. You're not right. you're not delivering enough lines. Yeah. And Trixie Metalis Rupal. I think, I, I feel like my, maybe Trixie might be getting a bad rap a little bit. Um, yeah. I mean, I, I can see where it was very repetitive, mm -hmm. but I almost think that she, that it kind of was intentionally that way. It was as though she was going to turn RuPaul purposely into a robot. Right. Maybe it just didn't grab on in the run of things. Let's talk about the runway. 
flower power. I thought this was a beautiful runway. It was pretty. It was a, it was a pretty yeah. runway. And I think uh, what I liked is that um, the girls weren't necessarily gluing flowers on in just random places. They tried to have a structure. Each right. person. Some were more successful than others. Mm -hmm. um, my standouts were Asha. I loved her look. Yeah. I thought it was dainty. I yeah. thought it was pretty. I thought it was spring-like. Very fashion. It Very was. current. Very I, young. That's so her. Yeah, it, it is. And she, and she loves color. She can yeah. really, really plays well with color. And then somebody who didn't really necessarily have that much color, but still made the flowers dramatic was BB. Yeah. I thought that was beautiful. And when you think flower power, you think everyone on the runway is going to be wearing bright colors. Sure. And so I thought it was a really smart interpretation. What about Kennedy Davenport? Kennedy's was a choice. I, I don't know. Sunflower to me is very like the side of the road. And she and she I liked is, it. And she this is not is so side funny. of the road. She is not side no, of the road. No, she's expense she is pageant expensive. drag. She knows. I liked it though. It was well, like good. the flowers were like climbing up the side, like on the thing. Like I, I don't know. Would you like to would you like to have it? Yeah, I would wear that. You would wear that. I really actually would. Shangela's flower power. Yeah, iconic. The look is iconic. That's right. Beyonce. Um, was it a pre the pregnancy? The pregnancy, photo? and she was sort of, you know, uh, inspired by the mother, Mother Earth. It was done beautifully, and it's recognizable, yeah. especially to the younger demographic who follow, um, you know, fashion magazines and and also Beyonce. And then the one contestant that really I think brought full circle flower power mm -hmm. was Trixie Mattel. Yeah. That look, that a little bit of Japanese and a little bit of 60s and, you know, those horrifying boots that in no other look work except for that look. Right. Ben de la Creme has been in the top two every single week. Do you think she's scared? Like, when is the other shoe going to drop? Nobody likes anyone who's too proud or too free. No one likes that. Right. And if she's winning this much, and she is making people feel nervous. If she does one little slip up, the girls can just say bye-bye because right. then they can say, well, I didn't get rid of her because I didn't like her. I got rid of her because she was the strongest competition and that's the name of the game. Yeah, let's talk about the bottom three. We have Kennedy, we have Chi Chi, we have Trixie. It's not a surprise to me that Chi Chi was gonna go home because it, it was time number three. Right. She just had to go, but she knew that. She knew right. that, she made peace with that. There was yeah. no like, there was no upset, I don't think. Right. Like, oh my God, how could you send this person home? Well, right. how could you not? And I will say, I will say for Shangela, she made what appears to be an ethical choice. Yeah, it could have been that moment where it's like, well, Trixie down the line is going to be a huge competitor. Kennedy down the line is going to be a huge competitor. I can I can take them out right now. I think she was just being honest. Yeah. And really realized that this is gonna be really lame if we don't send home the person right. who clearly needs to go home and is fully aware. So I feel like Shanshal was being like only fair. If you had to choose right now, oh, who would you put the crown on? Oh, very easily said, I think Ben. And I'm and I'm basing that on the criteria of the challenges, the runways, and what the judges have said, and based on wins. As of right now, the points are on the board. I mean, it's Ben's competition right now. Yeah. Thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. I had a good time. I had so much fun. And thank you for joining us on yet another episode of The Pit Stop. Tune in next week. I can't wait. My name's Alaska. Bye. That was very masculine of us to be yeah, like, hey, what's bro, up? Yeah. Thank you. We should be doing something else. Hey, squirrel friend. When one video ends, just open up another one. It's called binge viewing. Go ahead. I support you.